Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about some new eyeshadow palettes from Lime Crime. Lime Crime just released three new eyeshadow palettes. They're called the Pocket Candy Palettes and there are three different color versions of this little palette. This one in the yellow compact is called Pink Lemonade. There's also one in a blue compact called Bubblegum and one in a pink compact called Sugar Plum. These palettes retail for $34 each on the Lime Crime website. However, there is a bundle where you can get all three palettes for $80. So if you're interested in all three palettes and you buy the bundle, you save 22 bucks. Instead of the more traditional cardboard outer carton, these come in this little plastic packaging and it does remind me of how a toy is packaged so I think that's pretty cute. It definitely goes along with the theme of this Polly Pocket style palette. The palette itself is really cute. It does look a lot like the old school Polly Pocket toys. It has a clasp closure so it's not magnetic. There is a nice large mirror inside and there are five eyeshadow shades and on the back of the palette there is a sticker that has the shade names. This palette, the Pink Lemonade palette, has two mattes and three shimmers. It looks like from the pictures on the website that Sugar Plum is all shimmer and it looks like Bubblegum only has one matte. Just to give you an idea of the value in this palette, like I said, this retails for $34. It has five eyeshadows and they come out to just over 10 grams of product. Something that's pretty similar in size and price are these nine pan palettes from Too Faced. This is the natural eyes palette, but they're all the same size and the same price. The Too Faced palettes have nine eyeshadow shades. These retail for $36 and they have just under 11 and a half grams of product. So when you compare these two palettes, the Too Faced one costs $2 more, but you're getting almost a gram and a half more of product and you're getting more shades to choose from. I think part of what you're paying for here is this very cute packaging. We're gonna go ahead and do swatches of this Pink Lemonade palette now. As with all my swatch videos, I'm gonna do both a finger and a brush swatch for each shade. So the finger swatches will be on top, the brush swatches will be below. No primer, no foundation on the back of my hand. For my brush swatches, I'll be using my e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush and I'll clean off in between each shade using my Veramona color switch. Here are the swatches of the palette. Again, finger swatches are on top and then brush swatches are below. This first shade is a matte, it's called Brown Sugar. Next we have a shimmery pink called Pink Jelly. This yellow shade is the one that's in the center of the palette and it's called Lemonade. Next we have a shimmer with glitter, this one's called Strawberry. And lastly, another matte, this one's called Baby Cake. And I think it's pretty obvious here that the shimmers apply much, much better with a finger than they do with a brush. But I am pretty happy with the quality of the mattes. This brush swatch looks really nice. Now that you've seen the swatches, I'm gonna jump into the eye look that I'm wearing today. I'll give you a quick tutorial and then I'll wrap up all my thoughts at the end. My eyes are already primed with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm gonna start with the shade Brown Sugar and I'm sweeping that all through my crease and a little bit onto the outer part of my eye too just to sort of build up a transition shade. And next I'm gonna go in and add some depth with the darker brown matte shade called Baby Cake. And I'm gonna pack that on the outer part of my eyelid and I'm also gonna sweep that into my crease a little bit as well. Then for my all over lid shade, I'm using the shimmering pink shade called Pink Jelly and I'm just applying that with my finger and patting it all over my eyelid. Then for the inner corner, I'm using the shade Lemonade and I just used a little sponge tip applicator and packed that all over the inner corner. Then for my lower lash line, I'm using the shade Baby Cake again on a flat brush and I'm putting that on the outer half of my lower lash line and then I'm gonna blend out that darker shade using the lighter matte called Brown Sugar with a different brush and I'm really just kind of blowing out that color across the lower lash line. 
Then I just curled my lashes and added a little bit of Benefit Their Real Mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And that completes my look. Overall, this palette is kind of just okay for me. I'm not really blown away by the pigmentation. I think the shade selection in here is really nice. It's fun. It has a great balance of kind of quirky, unique shades and really wearable shades. So I do think that this shade range is really on trend right now. A lot of people are really gonna gravitate towards this palette in particular, in my opinion. Of course, the packaging is super cute. If you were a kid in the 90s like I was and you played with Polly Pocket, then obviously this is gonna kind of tug at the heartstrings a little bit. I do like the way that my eye makeup turned out today. I didn't love using this, I didn't hate it. It was just very middle of the road for me. Honestly, there are just so many really, really, really good palettes out right now. And at the end of the day, I don't think that this stands up to a lot of other palettes I've been testing lately. When I make a video about something that I don't particularly like or I don't really want to recommend to you, I like to give you an alternative, something that I think works just as well or better and gives you a better value. So if you're interested in these types of eyeshadow shades, I do have two other palettes that I prefer and I would recommend to you guys over this Pink Lemonade palette. So this is the first one I would suggest. This one is more expensive. There are a lot more eyeshadow shades in here. You're definitely gonna get that warm, pinks, peachy browns type of shades that you get in this Pink Lemonade palette. You still have super cute packaging. So if that's part of the draw for you, then I would definitely recommend this Just Peachy Mattes palette. The other palette that I would recommend in place of this Lime Crime palette is from ColourPop. It's the Yes Please palette. It has those warm, toasty shades, oranges, browns. You can even get a bit of that like pinky peachy vibe over here. Now, this palette doesn't have a mirror. The packaging isn't as cutesy, but this retails for $16. I think the shadow quality is really, really there with this palette. I do have an entire video about this one, so if you're interested in learning more about this palette, I'll link that video below and you can go and check that one out. That's it for today's video. Of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this palette. If you've tried it and you've had a different experience, or if you've tried the other versions and you think they're better, please leave a comment and let me know. I always love hearing what your experiences are and your opinions are. So thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Can you tell it's like already creasing and I just put it on for this video and I'm using my MAC paint pot. Like, can you see that? Where it's like already creasing up there and bunching up. I just, now they're gonna wish they didn't give it to me at Gen Beauty. <laughs> Well, you know, it's so cute that I feel like you guys might get like drawn into buying it. Hey, maybe you'll be super happy with it. I don't know, but it's not on my list of favorites. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna jump into the two. Now that you've... <sighs> what to say? What to say? Mm. That pretty much sums it up. Sorry, Lime Crown. Let's watch it speak for themselves. Obviously, that's what you're doing here. That's all she wrote.